What's up, Boom Squad? I hope everybody is having a wonderful day in the land of YouTube or Patreon or even possibly TikTok, wherever you're actually seeing this right now. Uh, got a fun set of episodes coming up. One Piece. That's, wait, wait. You guys, what? It's One Piece Day! That doesn't sound right. One Piece. <laughs> Uh, One Piece Day? One Piece Day. One Piece Day. Okay, what is happening? One Piece Day. One Piece Day. One Piece... One Piece Day? One Piece Day. One Piece Day. They One Piece Day! I, I literally do not know what happened to those settings. So uh, we're going to be diving into that <laughs> after the recording. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, it's One Piece Day. Super excited. Episodes 47, 48, and 49. So a uh, hard question coming in. I'm probably going to put it on the YouTube community tab. Uh, if you want to vote on this poll, please go there to do it. Uh, episode 50 and 51 are apparently... Uh, what's called anime canon, but not manga canon. And I know I've seen a few people say, hey, skip that. And I've seen other people be like, hey, watch that. So I'm going to put a vote out. We, if, if, if you guys don't want to see it, I'm probably going to record it regardless. But if no one on the YouTube wants to see it, we may make that a Patreon only thing. Uh, we'll, just, we'll, we'll just vote on it. We'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, I, I'm kind of just seeing how everybody's feeling about the episode 50 and 51. I'm listening to you guys. So... Like 54 through 61, we're probably going to skip, except for like half of episode 55 and half of episode 61. I'm, I'm keeping an eye on everything you guys are talking about it. Uh, if you want to say something, whether it is on Patreon or YouTube, wherever you're watching this, uh, I'm compiling notes uh, for what we want to see. Uh, that being said, uh, I'm not gonna lie. The, the buggies adventure stuff that happened on, on episode 46 and, and all the partying and wholesomeness that happened in 44 and 45, I loved, uh, I'm, I'm going to, whether the episodes are filler or not, I'm actually going to watch them, whether it's on my own time or it's going to be something that, uh, you know, I do record. Uh, I just want to give you guys the most fun options, uh, that I can, right? Because uh, the One Piece videos are by far the, the, the highly most edited videos because they are so long. Like a One Piece video is 45 to 55 minutes on average, um, whereas Attack on Titan and JoJo's are like 15 to 25. So as you can see, it, it's literally, it takes three times as long to do one One Piece video as it does to do like one uh, video of anything else, right? Uh, mostly just because of the sheer size and volume of One Piece. And uh, it, it's just fun for me, too, because like that way I just get to binge like a group of episodes in one go for myself. But yeah, guys, uh, long story short, we're just we, we need to talk about what what necessarily uh, is filler for you guys and what isn't what I can watch on my own and, and not necessarily record. Uh, it, like I said, th it seems like 50 and 51 are kind of up in the air for how people feel when it comes to whether or not we want to record it. Uh, but. We're getting ready to hop into 47, 48, and 49. So we're going to have to make, make this conversation soon. I'm super excited. I hope you guys are too. Of course, you want to feed the algorithm titan. Okay, that one worked. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Give us the thumbs up. Leave a comment. Of course, share the show with your friends. Let's grow the Boom Squad even bigger, better. One of the best communities on all of everywhere, in my opinion, because you guys are absolutely amazing, super positive, and I can't thank you enough for everything that you do. Of course, you want to see these unedited, unedited, patreon.com forward slash boomstick. And uh, yeah, we'll throw the socials up here. Of course, you can, uh, I don't have Twitter on there yet. Still, you can follow me on Twitter, uh, Boom Sentai as well. But guys, that's enough talking. Too much talky talky. Time, time to watch, time to react, time to talk about this. I'm super excited. Episode 47, 48, 49, and starting now. All right, guys, episode 47, starting now. No looking at the title. That's the rules here. Oh, Buggy keeping an eye on... Oh, dude, I did not realize that her ship was heart-shaped. That's so nice. 
<laughs> they, they, I was going to say, um, you were separated a, a bit prematurely. Get him, Choo Choo. Dude, comparatively, so so now, like, with with what we have now seen in this show, like, Buggy and crew are kind of just like this massive joke uh, when when compared against, like, Krieg or Mihawk. It, it, it's, it's, or Arlong, you know, it's, it's so funny that, like, the first episodes, I was like, man, these guys are kind of tough, and now it's just, like, amateur hour. Like, you guys could do nothing against these other people. Like, could you imagine? I couldn't imagine Buggy versus versus Arlong. Like, bro, he Arlong would just eat him. <laughs> I mean, at least they still have his parts. That's nice. Oh, uh, dude! At, hey, that goes to show. At least his crew care for him, right? Like, it could be so much worse. His crew actually give a crap about him. Oh, it looks like a little like bear print, paw print. Oh my God, they're laying him to rest. They they are burying his body part. You know what? Bless up. Right. I love the lion is even crying right here. He cared so much. I was like, it didn't look like he liked that. Oh, here we go. Even the lion was taken aback by that. Oh, that camaraderie is coming to a quick end. The acrobat versus the beast tamer. Fight. I'm just waiting for like little buggy to waddle up and just be like, oh, what are you guys doing? I'm okay with this fight. Oh my God. They're actually putting a ring up right now. Okay. Okay. Let's do this. So Kabaji versus Moji. I, I got, mm, dude, I don't know. Like, you know, Moji's got the, he's got the range with the whip. Oh my God. Are you kidding me with all this? I, dude, do they just put words together and hope they actually sound really good? Because I feel like that's what it is sometimes. Oh! Dude, from the top turnbuckle. Oh. Ooh. They've gone plaid, sir. Did they both get each other? Oh. Oh. Slap fight. <laugh> Oh my god. Ah, I see you, Lens Flare. JJ Abrams stealing from One Piece. How dare you? Are they still fighting? <laughs> Everybody's just like eating dinner, taking a nap, and these two still just smacking it out. Oh my god, they are eating dinner. <laughs> Dude. All day entertainment. I mean, I, I would be that guy that wasn't even watching the fight. I'd just be eating. They'd fought for 84 years. Oh, did we? Are we finally taking a break? Perhaps a wonderful game of checkers. Hey, you know what? At least this is going to show how important it is to be captain to these men. They 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 are fighting into the night while all the other crewmates are sleeping. They're still fighting. So, you know, if nothing else, at least it actually shows that they care. Oh, 
I'm not gonna lie. It looks like Moshi's got a little bit more beat up on him. I think, I think Kabaji might be uh, sneaking in some extra hits. They're gonna knock each other out. Beautiful. <laughs> Man, even it's his dream and he's a little overwhelmed. Get it. I'm here for this. I vote for Captain Richie. I say we bring him on for Luffy's crew. Oh my god. This, uh, dude. The wholesomeness continues with these. Are you kidding me right now? One Piece, I know you're probably going to make me cry later, but I am absolutely loving how nice these episodes are. Like a nice little reprieve. Oh. All hail Captain Richie. Yes, sir. I am here. Hey, I'm okay with Captain Richie. <laughs> oh, my God. Is that Luffy? Is he coming up? They said, give me a beat. Okay. Oh, you guys are quite surrounded right now. <laughs> what should we do, Captain Richie? Oh, man, we just kind of landed here. Bear Claw. I was correct. <laughs> Go me. Okie dokie. Oh, no. Did he knock out Richie? Oh man. Poor little fella. Yo, good for him. Oh my god. <laughs> Is he gonna get all his parts back right here? Yo, to be fair, he's got some he's got some hops. Oh my god, Buggy, your insecurity is showing, my guy. I need you to calm down. This is morbid. <laughs> I mean, like, Luffy kind of launched you into space, dude. Like, I can see where they were coming from. They literally just left him there because they were knocked out. Aw, at least they're excited. Gonna make a uh, uh, buggy hot pot? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. I won't be tasty at all. I'm very stringy. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> We're iron chefs. Very nice. Oh, here we go. It's like, it's like Mjolnir. It's like Thor's hammer. Oh. <laughs> See ya. Oh, and he freed his men and lion all in one go. Yeah, I'd probably just let him go. I'd be like, this is none of my business, and I don't need to be here. Oh, my God, dude. I am complete. Very nice. Oh my god, the return of the buggy ball. Leave these people alone. They were just hungry. Right on. <laughs> oh my god. Buggy is officially back, ladies and gentlemen. I honestly kind of forgot what he looked like as as a whole human. Oh 
God. That would be absolutely horrifying to see just flying shoes with knives on the end coming at you. Our hero! <laughs> you know, this is one of those episodes, I don't know who the good guy or the bad guy actually is. At least among these all these people. You know, the bear tribe kind of minding their business. But, you know, Buggy's people need somewhere to go. Oh, we're going to have a big emotional moment between everybody. <laughs> Yo, it's going to be hilarious when Luffy takes you down again. Good for them. Dude, I love, let me just, I know the episode's getting ready to end. You know what? I'll just, I'll, I'll let it play out. I'll let it play out. I'm guessing at this point, the, we're, we're getting ready to hit the beat continued. Zora's like. I smell an ass whooping in the air. Are things getting ready to pick back up for the straw hats? <laughs> She's like, no, nah, we don't want to go there. Oh, Log Town, okay. <laughs> nice. I'm ready. I'm ready for this continued uh, continued adventure. Dude, that's the most serious I've almost seen him outside of actually like defending his homies. Like it actually going there actually matters to him. All right. Yeah, so what I was uh, originally going to say is that it, it's so cool what they do with the ships. Like, you, you have your normal uh, pirate ships and the Going Merry and stuff like that. But then uh, you have, like, that lady's ship that's the shape of a heart. You have Mihawk's ship, was, which is just literally a coffin <laughs> with green candles around it. So uh, they do, like, a really good job of, like, stylizing, like, to the person's personality. And uh, I actually really like that a lot about this show. But... Really fun episode, man. These continue to be pretty wholesome. Uh, uh, I, Buggy is now back together. <laughs> oh, just a fun episode overall. But let's get to episode of 48 right now. All right, guys, before we hop into episode 48, I do just want to say we have hit our first One Piece loving milestone in that our long was our first arc that I would say, big arc that I would say we finished. But now... We are now to opening two of One Piece. Out of the 23 that there currently are, we're at opening two now. So we're on our way. We are on our way. <laughs> All right, let's get into episode 48 right now. Log Town. We here, baby. Oh. Are we going to find stuff? Are we going to find love? Are we going to find inner peace? <laughs> oh, that's just rude. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's where... Uh... Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, he's going to want to see, like... For him, it's almost like a historical vacation. No, looking at the title... That's the rules here. You can't. We'll kick you out if you do. Oh, Nami trying to get fancy. Dude, her tattoo looks so much cooler than the Arlong one. I'm going to get that tattooed. I need a new, uh, I need a new tattoo. Oh. Alrighty then. Is this man's hair a coat hanger, by the way? Oh my god. I feel like Sanji's not going to be able to control himself. Oh! Target acquired. 
Oh my god. Oh, dude, like a pirate freaking thrift store would be lit. Oh my god, there'd be so many cool things in that. That is a giant pearl back there. <laughs> like, I don't have that kind of cash on me, homie. <laughs> He's an incredibly evil villain. Oh, my God. I find it hilarious and and kind of odd that like yeah so he's had mild run-ins right with the navy but he took down Arlong he took down Krieg like he took down two of the meanest dudes in all of East Blue but yet they're gonna call him evil uh, because of like his mild you know I would say mild run-ins with the navy they you would think after he taken down two of the biggest bad guys that are causing the problem for the navy because I mean don't get me wrong. We understand that Arlong was paying off part of the Navy, right? But he also destroyed another part of it because they wouldn't be paid off. So the idea was Nezuko or something like that was the dude's name. Um, you know, he was one person that was paid off because they they were the part of the Navy that was around that area. At least I'm assuming that's how it's going to work. So it's not like he was paying off the entire Navy. I, I just find it odd that you think like they would want to work with Luffy in some capacity where it's like, what if we could change this man to not be evil? I mean, even though he's not. How dare you knock down my rocks. Alrighty then. I mean, a man that smokes that much has to be relaxed. That is a big sword, by the way. Dude looks like Yami from uh, Black Clover before Yami from Black Clover. Okay, that sword looks nowhere near as large now in comparison. <laughs> it looks like a little knife. Perspective, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, is it going to pop off before before the filler episodes? Uh, it is a fairly big sword. I think the way they drew it from the side made it look smaller. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, man. What a dude. I know I'm probably going to hate him here soon, but what a bro move. Yo, that's so nice. I was expecting a very harsher outcome than what that was. Said, nah, nah, man. That ain't me. Oh. This is not going to end well for these people, I'm guessing. Dude, man's vaping, ripping fat clouds. Okay. Okay. Alrighty then. He's a monster. Oh, really now? Go on. I do find it odd. Don't get me wrong. It's already weird enough that Luffy is a pirate and, and devil fruit and, and buggy as well. But you think someone specifically who wants to be in the Navy would uh, uh, kind of want to avoid devil fruit power for the simple idea that uh, once you get on that ship, you know, it, probably not the best things can happen. Like I said, Luffy can choose to one day stop being a pirate. But I mean, if your job is to literally be in the Navy, I just, I, I don't know. I just don't see that working out. <laughs> Where's my berries? 
Oh my god, yes. <laughs> Is he one of these guys? I'm on vacation, man. I'm on vacation. Follow the smoke? Is that his power? <laughs> Directional GPS smoke? It's like weird vibe from that guy. Ooh. That's a lot of berries. Oh, I don't think so. Oh, homegirl has her own objective planned. Oh. Witness. That was awesome. <laughs> she did it. They're dead. <laughs> Literally me. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. Oh, bro. Oh, what the f What? No, that's not Queena. There's no way that's her, dude. We're like, this music's getting creepier and louder all at the same time. I was like, that's a very empty bar. <laughs> what a lovely room. You work your old... <laughs> Fair enough. My man's be looking like a Boston Terrier. Oh, that is a big skull. I, I, I will say, I actually love how, you know, Luffy a lot of times is self-serving with his own interests. Like, he cares about his crew and stuff like that, obviously, from the Arlong arc. But, like, I, I actually am really digging how he's, like, so invested into the Gold Roger stuff because, you know, it's like he, he it, it's almost like Zeph's logbook as well where he was curious about it in the Grand Line. He's he's very much, like, when it finally pertains to something he's truly interested in, he it, it's, it's almost, like, gleeful. I dig it. It's like he just gets zoned in on it. Yep, that'll do it. Alright. Oh yeah, dude, exactly. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. So really Gold Roger is 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 He's like the Michael Jordan of this world. Not good at hitting his mouth. <laughs> you sure, man? Seems like a bad idea. I'd be like, nah, it's none of my business. You good? Okay. Oh, that's him. Dude. It took me a second I, before I realized that was actually him behind the bar. A little shriveled up now. It's fine. 
Oh, dude, Luffy is about to blow his top. <laughs> Luffy said, And where is that? <laughs> The reincarnation of Gold Roger? Fair enough. Same. Is that milk or really gross looking water? Go on. You're gonna like fill the seat, see if it's warm. Wait, is he the one that killed Roger? Uh. Damn, how old is this man? Or how long ago did Roger die? He said, yeah, because I ain't no bitch, cuh. Oh, yeah, he was a kid. I mean, so far, it really doesn't feel like he's a bad guy. Not Gold Roger, but uh, two, like, Smoker General. Oh, that's dope. That's really cool. Alrighty then. Those dudes are sweating. Which he did say it was a humid day. <laughs> He's like, damn, man, I'm going to die anyway. Hook me up. Oh, that's crazy, bro. Why do I feel like this is ready where Ready Player One got like the idea for 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 his book? Well, that's just rude. He was, you don't stab a man while he's saying something. Yo, you just made this man a hero. Oh, wow. Oh, yo, look at that, dude. I love how that's drawn. Like, it kind of low-key feels like, you know, the life is drained from him and these people while, like, literally he just instilled everyone else with hope so they're still in color. Like, I don't know if that's necessarily what that means, but that's how I feel. That's really, really cool. Also, it kind of looks like a face right there. Dude, that would be crazy. Like, if that was your thing. No! The place where it began and the place where it ended. And I guess technically where it began is also like the whole idea of the One Piece and becoming King of the Pirates and stuff like that. So, dude, I love... I, this was a good episode, man. Kind of chill. Like, the, the last, what, five episodes now have been pretty chill, wholesome. 
I, I feel like I, I I feel like the verge though is coming. I know we got a lot of filler episodes coming, but man, that one felt really good. Anyway, guys, on to episode of 49. All right, guys, episode of 40. Let's go. Oh, Captain Smoker is back. <laughs> I wonder if this is going to be like one of those things. I, I it, it, Is Luffy always going to be totally unassumed everywhere he goes? Like it happened with Arlong's men. He just went for a walk. Now Captain Smoker, he just suddenly... Also, I know I, I just started this episode. And you guys are like, he's pausing already. But yeah, it's like one of those things where like he's always... Like so far, he's always been able to like... The, the first meeting... He's just been able to like gracefully go by and just be like, yeah, I'm looking for the execution platform. I was like, what a weird guy. Uh-oh, he's there. <laughs> be like, yes? Oh my God, yeah. Oh, and he's going back down. I thought he was going to like jump down right there to meet him. <laughs> Nah, I'm not under arrest today. <laughs> and what do we say? Not today. Oh! <laughs> I'd be like, can I get a little help? Oh, apparently being made of rubber doesn't mean it's so flexible that you can e easily get out. Oh! Oh! Okay! Wait, did he say he doesn't need to use his... What is his devil fruit power, sir? Well, hey, at least he made it to the top of the platform for a split second. His dreams acquired. Luffy's like, all right, go to the Grand Line now. What I was going to say before we had buffering issues is it, it actually kind of feels like the uh, Captain Smoker here is kind of fighting on the behalf of Gold Roger, where he's genuinely upset that uh, Luffy is, is making the claim to want to be King of Pirates because he's not taking this, or he doesn't appear to be taking it seriously as all, because he doesn't know Luffy, right? So he just looks like he's a silly kid. Oh, I also want to know what his devil fruit power is, because I bet that thing is lit. Ah. I'm telling you, man, Luffy is the 21st century philosopher we need. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Luffy said, I must go. My people need me. Oh, dude, she's got a club like Alavita. Alright, alright. Oh, there goes Luffy. <laughs> You know, just partying, having a good time. No big deal. Taking a couple of flight lessons. <laughs> well, it's not going to take long to find him. Dude, he really sent himself going. Holy crap. Oh, I thought he landed like sitting up. I was like, that's that's talent. <laughs> uh, well, you made it to the top of the platform ever so briefly, so, you know, I was going to say, relax, take a nap, chill. Oh, no, absolutely not. <laughs> no. Wow. My man goes on a vacation island and turns into the custodian. <laughs> oh, she is a sergeant major. He's Dude, if I was him, I'd be uh, slinking out the back door, never to be seen from again. 
I know him. Oh my god. <gasps> Betrayal. Oh my god, dude. I mean, that'll do it. I think I found a new way I'm going to mop for now on. Ooh. Oh, dude, I, I, yeah, it's so hard not to see Queena when, with that character. Zoro said, yeah, screw it, I'm out of here. I don't need this. I don't need this in my life. You know, that has to be, like, for someone of such a strong demeanor like Zoro, uh, uh, who, who very much, we can say that, while we love him, probably doesn't make the most friends ever. Uh, so far, we have Johnny and Yusuke. Uh, but, like, seeing someone who reminds him so much of Queena can't be easy, man. Like, the fact that, that, yeah, that was, well, besides the fact that he was almost arrested, but, like, literally, like, staring out the window at her because she looks so much like, he, like her. Way to tug at the heartstrings, One Piece. Just let this man be. What an amateur. Be like, Bet. And Bill, you better be easy with it. This belongs to a friend. Ooh. <laughs> oh my god. Thinks he's actually gonna play him. That sword is priceless, sir. Oh my god. You can buy two decent swords. He is really bad at negotiating. <laughs> I'd be like, why do I keep running into you? Someone went on a rampage. Right? Oh, yeah, it's weird. Crazy. Oh. He said. He said. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a nice sword right there. Ten million berries? Zoro is like, you tried to offer me 200,000. <laughs> uh, is that a law? Obstruction of business? Oh, he knows the value. It's just not the value you think it is. Just take whatever two you want. Be like, hmm, I bet he's ruggedly handsome. <laughs> Once the blade is drawn, it must taste blood. Oh, what's this? What? And you had it in the bargain bin? You dumbass! Oh, it's cursed? What? Ooh. Okay. <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑>
Yeah, thank you. I was gonna say, listen to your wife. Take the sword. I love Zoro. God, I love Zoro. Zoro is the found and find out of, of, of the crew for sure. Feel it. Feel it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the stuff. Dude's like, my floor. <laughs> oh, that was a really dope moment. I love Luffy, but man, there's just something about Zoro. There is not a pair of dry pants in that entire building right now. Everybody's like, oh. Oh, is he going to hook him up with something else? Oh. <laughs> Two cursed swords. <laughs> oh. That's so pretty. Yubashi. Yeah, dude. That's what I'm talking about. Oh. Vibin. As I think that's what I love Luffy, but there, Zoro has got the vibe. Luffy's got the confidence. Zoro's got the vibe. I think that's why they work so well with each other. <laughs> oh my god. This show is so stupid sometimes. It's brilliant. <laughs> Buggy's like, God it! Are you kidding me right now? Oh. So good. I've I've actually really liked these like these couple of episodes, man. I want to know what his devil fruit power is. Is it smoking two cigars? Went and got my sword, dog. Oh. He will show up. Well, yeah, he's confident in the fact that, yeah, he's seeing that execution platform. Exactly. Oh. So freaking good, man. I always, like, so in the comments, a uh, uh, TikTok especially, because, like, it, I, it, TikTok is just based on comments because there's so freaking many. Um, it, I just get a kick where it's, like, people are, like, surprised somewhat that I can enjoy these episodes so early in the show. Like, how, how could you not like what this show represents and everything that goes on with it so far, man? I mean, good pirate story. Great characters. Like, like I said, Luffy full of confidence, Zoro nothing but vibes. Like, I think that's why Luffy and Nami are, are like, their friendship is, is a lot of fun to watch too. Cause they're both like oozing confidence and, and like, uh, 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 Sanji and Zoro are vibes. And then Usopp is, Usopp's just a sweetheart, you know, <laughs> but not nah, really cool. I want to see what Captain Smoker's devil power is. I'm hoping that's going to be kind of lit. Uh, I got a feeling too, he's going to be the type of character we'll see probably down the line. Uh, I'm sure they're going to have whatever uh, uh, little little squabble we're going to see here, especially with Buggy. Um, but man, really, really good episodes. More Buggy, more more everything. And now Zoro has three swords again. One cur Dude, what a, what a scene that was where like my man was just like, chuck it up. And, and if it stabs me, it stabs me. Uh, that's like that. That's. That's the good stuff about this show. But guys, remember, if you are new here, and even if you're not, make sure you help us feed the algorithm monster by hitting that subscribe button down below, giving us the thumbs up, hit us with a comment, and of course, share the show with your friends. That way the Boom Squad grows stronger with your help, and it's greatly appreciated. Also, if you want to see these unedited, make sure you go to patreon.com forward slash boomstick. And I'm going to be throwing the socials up here. But man, 
really, really fun. Uh, like I said before, I think I said it in the intro, like I recorded some of those yesterday and this today. So my brain works in the sense of like, I don't remember what I said exactly. Um, I'm probably going to put a poll up on whether we want to, uh, whether you want to see 49 and 50. I know it says on uh, the filler list that I, that I, that I've been looking at said that it is uh anime uh, canon and not manga canon. So I'm probably still going to record those if, if. I don't put those on YouTube. I'll at least put them on Patreon. Um, but I know like the main thing was like 55 to 61, but like watch half of 61 and watch part of 54 or something like that. So once again, yeah, like give, give me your thoughts down below. Uh, I'm more than happy to sit on my couch, veg out and uh, watch the filler episodes on my lonesome, or we may do even do that on stream. Uh, so if you're not following the stream yet, make sure you do. But guys, thank you so much. I really do appreciate all the support. We hit 3K. We're already closing in on 4K. My mind is blown. Um, we hit 5K on TikTok quickly. Uh, already closing in on 6K there. So you guys are absolutely nuts. I really can't thank you enough for all the love. But as always, I love your faces. Be the joy.